In PEST, we have the notion of data sets, which is synonymous with PHP units data providers. Data sets allow you to run the same test multiple times with different data passed in. The test description will contain any information about the arguments that we used in each test. Let's clean up our feature test here. Let's say we wanted to validate email addresses. We'll pass into our closure now for the first time, two parameters, email and the status. How do we get values in here? We use the with method. We pass it an array of arrays of two values. The first being the email address and the status being whether or not this is in fact an email address. Bear with me because we're going to use PHP's filter var method to run through these tests. So now that we have our data set, let's write our test. Assert equals uh, status filter var email filter validate email. If we run our tests, we can see that we ran the example test, it validate email address with, and then it shows you the values that were passed into the test michael at dorinda.com.au as the email and likewise for the status not an email address which is obviously not a valid email address and false as the status and then nuno madura at pestphp.com and likewise for the status the reason we do it this way is because the filter var method accepts a variable to test and a filter to run and then will return the filter data if the filter passes or false if the filter fails this approach is useful if you're only ever wanting to use the one data set with the one method. However, if you are needing to use this same data set in multiple tests across your application, you can place it inside it, the test data sets folder. So let's create that now and then jump down into that file, test data sets and call this emails.php. Grab these values and this file simply needs to define a data set and a name and then simply dump your values in there. And to use this data set, instead of passing the array in here, we simply call the name. And then if we run our test again, everything continues to pass.